From bowls to badminton, members of the community were readying themselves to compete in the island's second Falkland Games on Friday evening. But before the Games kicked off in earnest, an opening ceremony commenced at the start of the sporting weekend. Welcome this evening to the second Falklands Games, and especially welcome to the teams who signed up to take part. Sponsored by the same four uh, groups who sponsored last year, so thanks very much to them, and thanks very much indeed to those who come out this evening to, uh, to watch the opening football matches this evening. So I would like to wish everybody the very, very best of luck. Uh, enjoy yourselves and play sport in, in the very best spirit. And after acknowledgements and thanks, the games were off to a quick start as the football got underway. Next on the list was basketball, which took place on Saturday morning. Yeah, basketball was intense. Uh, no, really good fun. Uh, we did alright in that football with a draw, and uh, yeah, I'm not regular football, so yeah, it, was, it was good fun though. Very intense. So okay. you've just been playing basketball. Was that your first time? Um, it's probably my first time in about 20 years. So I remember playing it at school, um, and yeah, it's been a long time since then. Um, very intense game. Um, out of breath very quickly, um, but yeah, I enjoyed it. It's good fun. Yeah, so we started uh, last night. Uh, with two football matches, it went really well. It was uh, one match was really tight, and then uh, this morning we had basketball. And as you can see at the moment, we are swimming. There is at the moment a demonstration for the teams just to see how uh, a medley looks like because uh, it's a 100 individual medley that they have to do, which uh, most people is obviously not uh, the norm for everybody to do. Yeah, so so far it's been great. And what does it mean that you're able to sort of switch around the sports and have more to choose? Yeah, so it's it's a uh, to give uh, well almost forcing people to try out new sports to get out of your comfort zone but also uh, from the feedback from last year one of the great things is because you enter as an individual and we place you in a team uh, people that's new to the island people that hasn't necessarily met certain people all of a sudden you have 10 new friends and you get together as a team and you participate so uh, lifelong friends gets created as well which I think is wonderful and keeping in with the spirit of participation other members of the community also competed in table tennis how has it been going so far, and particularly with the table tennis? It has been amazing. It has been amazing and it's great to see new players also coming in and taking a part in this tournament. And, uh, you know, through this, I think we are also discovering that there is a lot more talent hidden in Falkland Islands for table tennis and we are encouraging them to come to our club nights, which are Tuesday 7 to 9. So I think we're going to see more and more people join those. And can you tell us a little bit about what you specifically have been participating in over the past couple of days? Yeah, so I've been participating So this morning uh, when I did the 3K run, and then I did table tennis and now bowls. So it's been a packed day. Yesterday was a packed day as well. We were all knackered. So it was a lot of hard work, but I think, I, I really hope that it pays all well for the Polar Sea Fish team in particular. And Polar Seafish may be in luck there after having won at the table tennis. However, with Team Aquila winning bowls, swimming and running, they are currently in the lead on the virtual scoreboard. But with the cycling and final matches of the remaining sports yet to commence, all is still to play for ahead of the awaited prize-giving ceremony.